The truth will set you free, but first it'll piss you off. And I think your truth is you either rejected somebody or they just took too long to come towards you. And now you're either over it, you're getting over it. You're like, let's wrap this up. You're like, this is just too little too late. This person isn't really accepting the rejection. So they may be like either not putting in enough effort, not reaching out. Like they're just... Their ego has definitely been triggered, and that's kind of what keeps them from putting in more effort. I know we're like, if you would put in more effort, you would fix this. But a lot of people, they feel shame and they feel guilt. Like, oh, I did something bad, or I'm a bad person, or I feel guilty, or, oh, I was rejected. So that means, you know, uh, you know, they're triggered. But this clock is literally pointing towards April. Like, time's up. Time is up. I think this person either had, they had to the, like, they had to the eclipse to get to you, to reach out to you, or like you put up with their behavior for long enough. And here we see you moving into this energy of being happily single, doing you, dating, stress-free. Like this person isn't gonna be a problem for you anymore. This is about somebody who specifically, like you're gonna be seeing over the next couple weeks. What did I tell you? They're ashamed, but you're going to be seeing your career growing over the next few weeks as you pull away from this person. Like, your life is going to get easier. And what's going on with them? They're feeling all messed up over you. Like, that's part of their karma. Part of their karma, look at, they're going to be having headaches. I don't know which word I'm supposed to freaking cover right now. They're going to be having headaches. They might even get in trouble, okay? Like, they definitely play the victim too. Like. So they might be sending like sad messages and you know, I'm not saying they're not really sad, but I am saying this is too little too late and that they may be being dramatic. You know, they may be being dramatic. Like, are you, really? So watch for the red flags in this person playing the victim or trying to, looks like they might even try to distract you. Like, I just, I need you right now more than ever because of two, 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 fill in the blank. But you're gonna, I think you're gonna see right through this see this is saying this is a trap this is a trap follow your internal gps which is what your intuition your intuition two three four is going to be telling you like this person is trying to rope me in again they're trying to either get me over to their place so that we're on their playing field or they're trying to get me on the phone or you sometimes people know like if i can get you in person i have a little bit more power because then you can see me you can feel me i can touch you i can hug you i can soothe you right baby girl like sometimes we gotta watch out for letting them get us in person especially when we're maybe trying to set a boundary or trying to uphold a boundary like sometimes you do need to just keep that on the phone okay but i, I see you again kind of turning your back to this person 